Well, I mean, look, we all bought up to play in finals with premierships at the footy club, and that was our, that's what we did at Glenelg before I came to Carlton. But I certainly, um, when I got here, and the culture is instilled in you that uh, winning premierships is what, what being, you know, it's a culture of Carlton playing finals and winning premierships, and uh, that still goes today. Yeah, look, I, I remember all the all my finals and vividly, especially the ones you win. So don't forget those. '95 was. It was a culmination of a lot of hard work from a lot of blokes. Um, we had eight, eight blokes in their 30s uh, in that game, which is unbelievable. And um, we put in a really sensational season and to win the last two finals by 10 goals in 95. Uh, that was pretty uh, comprehensive, which was great. The whole week's great. You, you have training during the week. I mean, we had 10 and 12,000 people here. It could have been more. I don't know. It seemed like a, a full crowd for training on the Tuesday, and especially the Thursday for both games and I'll never forget that those crowds and then you have the the grand final parade which was massive down the streets from Melbourne that was great and then you get to the game and uh, there's nothing like grand final day when you run out of the ground and you know you're nervous but when the when the ball bounces you're ready to go but the, the rules loud you can hear it it's, it's just loud. There was a couple I think they were in the second quarter um, El Spalding's smother the resultant goal and, and Justin Madden running into an open goal and kicking one while he's rucking on ball, I thought, geez, things are going pretty good here today. <laughs> we, we're a bit of a chance, things are just going our way. And I thought early, I knew in that game early that uh, yeah, we're up here, we, we're going okay. So that's, it was a good feeling to be that we felt a bit in control all day. But you never think you've got it until about 10 minutes to go when we're about, we're about 13 or 14 goals in front of them. It's a long kick the last three, four or five goals, I think. Um, yeah, you never think you're safe till right near the end, but I, I remember grabbing Brad Pearce late in that 95 game. He's a young bloke playing the flag and I said, mate, you know, his last couple of minutes, said, have a look around you, this is going to be a great moment in your life, you'll never forget it in his life, and he still talks about that today. Make a very good first of it, John, oh, brilliant, gather by the champ, goes with the left foot, how does he manage this? It's supernatural. <laughs> That's what we're all here for, fighting. Uh, to get back into it again. We've been in a third consecutive final series. It's hard to believe. That's our toughest moment for the club since um, the salary cap infringements and the fines and the loss of draft picks. And, um, you know, it's been well advertised. We don't have to go over it, but we, it's taken a long time to right the ship. And um, I really feel like the last couple of years, the, the pillars are in place for this club to really uh, make some serious dents into this AFL Premiership years. And over the next couple of years, I think um, our window's open. Um, we're back at the G in front of our hated rival, Essendon, and I can't wait, I'm ready to play, and I know our players will be too. But I, I've got great faith in our players, I think they've had, a, they've had a pretty good year. We've had a few injuries late, which have uh, just unstabilised us a little bit, but we'll, uh, we'll deal with that. And um, what I know is our best side on the park at the moment, in the next couple of years, will be hard to beat. Look forward to seeing them develop further. I oh, wish all the players all the best, they're a great bunch of blokes. They're keen and hungry, and uh, I think you'll see the, the navy blue stand up when it needs to be on Sunday. Can't wait.